Be careful of people that comes to you and says, the Lord told me. Thus said the Lord. If you read the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 28, he said, these people say the Lord says when the Lord has not spoken. I had a pastor who said to his wife that God told him to marry a second wife. How? How could that be God? How could that be the voice of God? I had another pastor who told his wife that God says he should divorce her. God will never say that. How can the same God that says that what God has joined together, let no man put us under. How can the same God that says, I hate divorce, be that same God that will be telling you to divorce your wife? See, men are very wicked. And they, because they have no fear of God in their heart, they will use the name of the Lord foolishly to justify their wickedness. There are many things people will say in the name of the Lord. A man said, God told him to go and have another child. How would God told you to go and have another child outside of your marriage? How can you say God told you to rent another house? Can you believe this? A pastor told his wife that God told him to rent another apartment. And that apartment, the only lady that comes there is the secretary. How can that be God? Why are you using the name of the Lord in vain? Why are you putting God's name in these things? You don't have the fear of God. You will face the consequence. You will face the judgment. Lying in the name of the Lord. But you see, you must be guided. Be very careful. The fact that somebody said, God told me, does not necessarily mean God told them. Even many popular preachers that are saying God told me, God didn't tell them anything. God doesn't violate his word. You don't, you don't need rocket science all you need is the word of God. Once you look at the word of God, you know these men are lying. God didn't say this thing to them. God will not say it to them. Many people are hearing their own mind, their own thoughts, and they are saying that it is God that has spoken to them. The fact that the man says, you are my wife, does not mean you should go and marry him. If you are also a child of God, you, can, you should be guided by the word of God. You should be guided by scriptures. The scripture even tells you to test all spirit. Because people come with, with all kinds of fake spirits. Or a prophet said, that lady is your wife. And then because of that, you go and marry that person. Do you know people have done foolish things like that? That they've gone ahead to marry somebody just because another person says, yes, God said this is your wife. That person did not do anything to check with scriptures. That person did not do anything to check the principles that are laid down. You, no matter who is speaking, there are things that you can violate. For example, if you want to marry someone as a child of God, the first thing you want to ask yourself is this. Is this person born again? Is this person a child of God? Is this person living for Jesus? Is this person filled with the Holy Ghost? Is the life of this person conformed to the life of Christ? You didn't do all of those checks, but because somebody said that is your spouse, you just went ahead to marry that person. You will enter into a terrible relationship, terrible marriage. In fact, you will make many terrible decisions in life. People are doing all kinds of things. One man will just wake up and say, God told him to leave his job. And he has a family to take care of. And he's not doing anything. He will now sit down at home and be reading Bible and say, God told him to quit his job. To quit your job, and to be idle, God does not call into idleness. God can ask you to quit your job so that you can do something else, but God will not call you into idleness. And I've seen people that will do this for the rest of their lives. Their children will suffer, their family will suffer. In the name of God told me. Don't get intimidated when people tell you that God told me. That was how the young prophet was deceiving the scripture. God spoke to him. The word of the Lord came to him. Gave him a message and he went to deliver that message. And God told him, don't, don't go through this way. Go through this way. And a, an old prophet came and told him, said, the angel of the Lord came to me and said to me. And that's how he deceived that young prophet. And that young prophet was, it was killed by a lion. Don't, you will be killed by a lion if you are listening to men and you are not checking with God. God will not say anything that violates his word. How can God say to a man that he should divorce his wife? What kind of God is that? The same God that says, I hate divorce. How can God say a man should go and marry a second wife? I know these people will be using the name of the Lord in vain. If you are one of such person, you better repent before it is too late. But as for you, 
who will be a recipient of such message, make sure you are guided and make sure you're on your guard. May the Lord keep you. I am Olushe Gumoku Olu. God bless you.